Jesse, first we need to get you level. I need you to locate the attitude indicator. Blue half circle on top, just like the horizon. OK, got it. All right, once you got that settled, we're going to turn you around. Now you're going to shut off autopilot. It is a red toggle, upper right. Oh, it's far. Suddenly, this is feeling like a really bad idea. It's the only idea. Doing great, Jesse. Okay. Turned around, I guess. I mean, I see land. Good job, Jesse. All right, look. These planes basically fly themselves. Yeah, TJ said the same thing. But they don't land themselves. At least not the one that you're in. Isn't that the hardest part? It's the only part we're going to worry about. I know you can do this. I need you to slow down. <sighs> see, see, that kind of makes me feel like this tin can's just going to fall out of the sky. It's not. Locate the brake. It's the top half of the pedal on the floor. All right. Slow and steady. Just ease up on that throttle. All right, now you're going to feel like. Whoa, whoa. OK, that runway is coming up very fast. That the runway's coming up fast. But it's OK. All right, take a deep breath. Ease your way through it. When you are about 10 feet from the ground, you're going to raise the nose just a little. 10 feet, huh? Try to be precise, Jesse. I don't want to know what happens at nine feet, right? Listen, the moment you feel the wheels touch the pavement, reduce power, and apply the brake. A lot of instructions, boss. You got this, Jesse. How are you doing, Jesse? It still feels like the ground under me is moving. Hey, any word on TJ? Nothing. Looks like he pulled a DB Cooper. Darrow and the boys don't know where he might be? Oh, we'll fooled them, too. He'll turn up. Yeah. TJ's too into the thrill to give it up. Yeah. Hey, how about you? Landing that plane must have been pretty exciting. Oh, absolutely terrifying, actually. I got my fill of the thrill. Come on, man. I saw you surfing out there. Never looked happier. <laughs> that was epic. You know, Heather keeps trying to convince me to go on one of these, like, jungle vacations, eco-tourism thing in Costa Rica. <laughs> Maybe we should. I mean, once I'm willing to get back on a plane. <laughs> Aloha. Hey. Brought you something nicer than lager, if you got time. Never too busy for a friend. It is a Gaia Nebbiolo. Supposedly the best in a decade. Mm. I know you're somewhat of a enophile, so. I do appreciate a complex red. <laughs> well, consider it a peace offering. Were we at war? No, but mm. I have been suspicious as to your intent on my island. Sorry to be boring, but seminar's the only intent I have. As far as official cover goes, it's a pretty good one. You still think it's a cover? I spent half my life as a CIA officer, Sam. I know cover. I literally instructed 12 agents in front of you. I didn't say that you weren't 100% committed. All right, so either it was a bad cover, and you don't believe it, or it's a great cover, and you don't believe it. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I believe. Hmm. Okay, what matters is that I trust you. And I know that you will tell me why you're really in Hawaii when you can. How about I just decant this fine wine you brought, huh? Can't think of a better way to enjoy a spectacular sunset. <laughs> 